Hello everyone, on this video tutorial we will be talking about the different types of campaign that you can create using Mass Planner. We will not be creating an actual campaign, you'll get to see that on the next tutorials. For now we will just have an overview of the campaign tab so you get more familiarized with what's in it. Okay, let's start. Let's click on the Add Campaign button. Here you will see the three types of campaigns that you can create using Mass Planner. We have here Standard Campaign, Volume Campaign, and Scheduled Campaign. The standard campaign can publish on a limited number of destinations. Ideally, you use this type of campaign if you want to publish a post on up to 10 destinations like groups, pages, walls, or profiles, and it will publish the post really fast. Next, we have volume campaign. This type of campaign can publish on a larger number of destinations. So if you need to publish a post on hundreds or even larger number of groups and pages, this is your go-to campaign. Then we have the scheduled campaign. As the name implies, you use this type of campaign when you want to schedule a post on a specific date and time in the future. For instance, you want to schedule a post to be published on Christmas or on any other important event or occasion, you use this kind of campaign. Now let's look at the different tabs you'll get to see on a campaign tab. Since all three of them have almost the same tab, let's just check out one type of campaign real quick. Let's check the volume campaign, so we click on details. Here you will see the overview tab, what to publish tab, where to publish tab, when to publish, drafts, post list, and history. Let's start with overview. This is where you can type the name of whatever you want to call your campaign. You may also add a tag and there are several other options that you can play around with. Now let's go to the what to publish tab. From here you may write the post and add images that you want to publish. You can also add posts from Flickr and Pinterest, add post from RSS, clickable image post and share post. Then we have here where to publish. This is where you choose the destination for your posts. In this example, if you choose the destination list 1, you will see that it will publish the post on two groups and two walls. You may add another destination list and it will also do the same post for those groups and those walls. Let's move now to when to publish tab. From here, you can set the number of posts per day that you want to publish, publishing delays and days of the week when you want to publish the post and you can also set the timers. Next you have the drafts tab. Okay, let's go back first to what to publish tab. From the what to publish tab, you will see here a button for add to drafts. So if you are not done with the post that you're creating, you click add drafts and it's going to send it to the drafts tab. Otherwise, if you click on add to post list, it's going to send it to the post list tab. Now you have here the history tab. This is where you can see all the posts that have been made. That's all for now. I'll see you again on the next tutorial.